Black Lives Matter, they continue to denounce this individual who has claimed to be a leader of BLM and endorsed Donald Trump. Now, I have some words to say about this personally. Uh, I've been waiting to get back in the air chair to do so. Uh, naturally, we invite the young man to come on to the program anytime in the bullpen, anytime on Indisputable. Here's a reminder video. You know, this is my favorite story of the day because it identifies with what I've seen in the barbershop. All the brothers, for some reason right now, are turning tides right now. And I just wonder, what is the big reason? I think personally, it's the duplicity of the Democrats, mm. the hypocrisy. Um, we're not stupid. The brothers are not stupid. We, we understand when someone's for us and when someone is not. And it's obvious that the Democratic Party is not for us. You're not saying the entire Republican Party. You're saying Donald Trump. So what is it about Donald Trump? Is it the economics? Uh, you noted the black family. What is it going to take for him to sure up this support amongst uh, black voters? A lot of people are misinformed. They don't really understand because they don't educate themselves on, on Donald Trump as a person and his history. Um, but if they do that, and it's going to take you know leaders, educated leaders, getting the word out there. Um, I think that it, it'll happen on its own, and it'll be organic. Because um, personally, I love the man. Why, why did you end up leaving Black Lives Matter? Or are you still affiliated with it? No, no, no. I'm still affiliated with it. My message that I preach and and, and that I tout is unity. It's a message of unity. It's unity driven. I want to bring together all the marginalized groups from the, the margins and bring them to the center because we're stronger together as a as a one nation under uh indivisible under god all right i'm going to tell you what the people at black lives matter what they have to say but before i do that um i wanted to make sure let's put up the picture for mass i want to make sure i provide some policy dynamics our uh, politics is a policy game if you engage in politics without understanding that you are already manipulated number one number two politics is messy when you decide to say yes to the Republicans, have the same level of integrity as you had for saying no to the Democrats. If you're saying that Democrats are racist or their policies are antithetical to black people, which by the way, I agree. I agree that many Democratic policies are antithetical. We bring them out right here on this show. But to then try to sell to the nation, try to sell to black people that somehow Republican policies create an advantage for black people. There's a reason, dear brother, that while you endorse Donald Trump, Donald Trump has never endorsed Black Lives Matter. There's a reason for that. You need to stop endorsing people who refuse to endorse you. He will not represent your policy agenda, nor will he represent mine. But some homework for you to do, sir. Household median income fell under the presidency of Donald Trump for black Americans. Employment ratio. The actual earned ratio of employment utilizing the U6 rating system failed under Donald Trump. College money dried up under Donald Trump. High school graduation of black children decreased under Donald Trump. The list goes on. I can also provide these data points for you under Democratic presidents at large. Black families' incomes have grew an average of $895 annually, but only grew $142 under Republicans. The black unemployment rate fell by a net of 7.9 percentage points across 26 years of Democratic leadership, but it went up 13.7 points during 26 years of Republican leadership. Across the years of Democratic leadership, black poverty has actually declined by 23.6 percentage points when a Democrat was in charge of the White House, but it actually grew by three points when a Republican held the White House. The numbers are actually similar for Latinos as well. All right, uh, Donald Trump said he is very honored after he received an early 2024 uh, endorsement from a black man claiming to be a top activist in Black Lives Matter. The social justice movement that Trump continually blasted during his term as protests gripped the country in 2020 following the police killing of George Floyd. Word of the surprise endorsement emerged November 28th 
after self-proclaimed political activist Mark Fisher, who says he co-founded a BLM organization in Rhode Island, expressed his support for Trump during an interview with Fox and Friends while complaining about a Biden uh, era policy or policies. And once again, let me set the record straight. It is perfectly fine to critique policy regardless of where it comes from. Perfectly okay. I do it all the time. But once again, to try to sell the false narrative that somehow Republicans are for black people based on their policies is insane. So Trump ran to Truth Social immediately, okay? Let's put it up. Why did Trump go to Truth Social? Because, well, Mr. Fisher is, he's basically a ploy. He's a proxy, he's a pawn. Spoke with Mark Fisher yesterday, a great guy, very honored to have his and Black Lives Matter support. I have done more for black people than any other president, Lincoln, question mark. Including 10 year funding for historically black colleges and universities where they had none, opportunity zones, criminal justice reform, and much, much more. Thank you, Mark. Um, one by one, I can knock those policies down. Trump set to defund and decrease funding for educational talent search, the federal trio program. You know it is upward bound. That was a whole lot of first time college students in urban communities that dried up under his presidency. While we talk about criminal justice reform, remember under Donald Trump, sentences actually Enhance, increase nonviolent offenders, spend more time in jail. His program, which was a graduation of Obama's program in a bipartisan bill, but the program he gets credit for, his prosecutors were arguing against judicial use of the program at the same time of him taking credit for that program, which, by the way, impacted less than 1% of the African American community. Uh, let's go to the next dynamic. It was three weeks ago in another. In another interview on the Kim Iverson show, uh, Fisher said, black voters have been used and abused by Democrats for too long. I don't agree with that statement. I do not uh, disagree, excuse me, with that statement. I agree with that statement in the context of understanding both parties play this political game. But then he says, during the impromptu chat, Fisher even say everybody else sucks, meaning other contenders in the presidential race compared to Donald Trump. Um, here it is. Do you feel alone in this viewpoint in the world that you're in being in the BLM movement? No, I feel like no. the tide is starting to turn. I feel like really? a lot of black people are starting to pivot off of that democratic plantation for so long. Uh, we've been slaves to that uh, party. You know, actually, we've been mental slaves. Uh, afraid to get off of that plantation because, uh, you know, we've been used and abused for so long at that party. They don't value our vote. Uh, their policies are basically um, racist policies. And I believe it's a racist party that strikes at the heart of the black family and the nuclear family in general. And I believe Donald Trump is he's the opposite. He's he's going to tell you how, how it is. He's going to give it to you straight. He's not going to, um, you know, uh, be a hypocrite and and you know, stab you in the back like the Democratic Party loves to do. Trump has done more for the black community than I can, any president I can think of in my lifetime. Name it. Name the policy, sir. You say he takes softball interviews because he knows no one is going to challenge him on these weak ass Sean Hannity talking points. Uh, black people are on a plantation that's meant to invoke emotionalism out of black folks so that we feel like, oh, we can't say we're for a Democrat. Because then this person says we're slaves. No, he wants you to think like him. And if you don't think like him, you must be a slave. But the truth is, if you think like him just because he tells you to, that is enslavement of the mental parameters. Here's the reality. He's utilizing an adopted blueprint. He's saying the same terminology that has been said by others who decided to do the about face. And naturally, he is absolutely invited to come on the bullpen any day. 
brother, I don't care what day, if it's on a Sunday, I will make sure I am in the studio to debate you policy by policy. Now, I see you're hopping your happy ass on everybody's show talking about how black people are slaves. Do you think black people are stupid, sir? There's a reason why the majority of black folks vote for the left-leaning candidate. There's a reason. All you have to do is look at the policy dynamics and what our values are. And you will see line by line that the connection you claim exists between policy, Republican Party, and black America simply is non-existent. Later, Gary Dantzler, the leader of Black Lives Matter Rhode Island, disputed Fisher's claim that he co-founded the social justice group. However, he did acknowledge that Fisher once worked for the organization for a short time before he was ultimately uh, <clears throat> let go. Mark Fisher stated he was one of the co-founders of BLM. Uh, he told the Providence Journal without going into much detail. Absolutely not. He was a respected advocate for BLM. That's it. And he has paid and he was paid and somewhere he got fired and demoted. Fisher finds himself embroiled in controversy with many in the official Black Lives Matter movement, painting him as an imposter. He is listed as the founder of BLM Inc., a separate independent entity that purported to represent the broader Black Lives Matter movement led by Fisher, a relatively unknown former staffer with a new loose-knit connection on the national stage. He's the pawn. The website for BLM INC states the group is, quote, not affiliated with any other Black Lives Matter movement. Can I say that again? Not affiliated Donald Trump while you're appreciating Black Lives Matter for endorsing you. He's not affiliated. We don't know this cat. He's not from us. Uh, the Black Lives Matter Foundation also sought to discredit Fisher, calling him a political operative who was trying to pull an obvious publicity stunt. And once again, once again, dear brother, if you simply are authentic about who you represent, how you represent, please submit your opinion all day. But to make a false proclamation or seemingly false proclamations that you are representing some level of the organized uh, movement known as Black Lives Matter or a significant portion thereof uh, is dishonest and dishonorable, in my opinion. Once again, you have the opportunity to come in a time of debate. All right, the right wing continues to use and amplify fringe black voices to create an idea of broad support for their corrupt candidates. The foundation fumed in a statement to Business Insider, adding that Fisher's operation is illegitimate. All right, so Black Lives Matter, they've had to deal with um, charlatans in the past, individuals who claim to be part of the movement. Uh, they were not, some were soliciting contributions on the false pretenses that blew up. Um, so we have this in front of us today. Um, I'm not sure what kind of individual this person is beyond what I know publicly. But I will say this, if you are authentic, sir, and you believe policy by policy, your position is correct. I challenge you to come on the program. Let's have a conversation about it. All right, Ravana, thoughts here. Yeah, I think that it's it's interesting the way that I mean, I'll be honest, you know, even if Fisher had it misrepresented himself as a co-founder of Black Lives Matter or, you know, a Black Lives Matter related organization, um, Fox News would have done it. They would have done it anyway. Yeah. They would yeah. have they would have framed him as being, you know, an important member of Black Lives Matter, higher up in the organization in order to push their narrative. And I have to believe that he knew that. And I have to believe that, you know, uh, when interacting with Fox News, when interacting uh, with Kim Iverson, who's a, another uh, individual who I wouldn't say is necessarily known for her strong relationship to the truth, you know, he had to have known what he was doing. 
in my opinion. And if if that wasn't his intent, I would love to see him come on the show and have a conversation with you, Dr. Ritchie, uh, you know, to to go head to head about that. Um, but it's interesting the way that Fox News operates in, in these manners, because you'll see them do this anytime they can find a, a black person willing to praise Trump. They want to show some relationship to um, very well respected uh black advocacy organizations. They also do this whenever there's a, a crime that makes national news. They want to find a way to tie that individual to BLM. I remember after the subway shooting in New York, they were saying that the individual one time six years ago shared a BLM post. Obviously, this individual has strong ties to Black Lives Matter. And we saw the same thing after the man who was involved in a police chase uh, drove into the Christmas parade in Waukesha, um, Wisconsin, and killed individuals there. Uh, they had to frame his, him as a BLM terrorist. So the ways in which you know they they want to legitimize praise um, and tie individuals to BLM, uh, and then also use BLM to uh, you know sort of cast it in the light of being a terrorist organization. I just can't believe that he didn't know that was going to happen. I can't believe he was so ignorant going into that interview with Fox News that he didn't know exactly what was going to happen. And, you know, I think that he got his intended goal. He had a phone call with Donald Trump. You know, right. he got this media attention. I, I That's, in my opinion, what he was attempting to do. Right. He did not get a dinner. Uh, he has to be a, a white supremacist for that kind of invite from Trump. 